Hi, I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you a very interesting video on analyzing group data. Let me first thank all my subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos and very special requests on this particular topic. If you need, I can produce more videos on statistics. The question here is, marks of a group of students in a test are shown in the table below. Determine class width, model class, approximate mean and median. So here we are given the marks. Marks are written in interval 21 to 30, 4 students, 31 to 40, 11 students, 41 to 50, 18 students, 51 to 60, 30 students, 61 to 70, 27 students, 71 to 80, 10 students. So whenever you are given a data, we should actually figure out what is the total number of students here in such a data. So let's add this up. So let me draw a line here. We'll actually extend this. So let's add all these numbers. We could also create cumulative frequency tables. So let me add another column here and call it cumulative frequency right cumulative frequency column so 21 to 30 we have four students and then if we extend it to 41 11 plus 4 gives us 15 and then we can add 18 to it it gives us 33 adding 30 will give us 63 adding 27 will give us 90 and then 10 will give us 100 right so there are total 100 students in all. For easy calculations, I've taken this number to be 100. In your examples, this number may not be 100. Is that okay? Right. Now let's answer the questions. We need to determine class width. What is class width? Class width. The interval is from 21 to 30. How many marks are considered in this? So what you're going to do is, you're taking away 21 from 30. You get 9, but since both are included, we'll add 1, and we know it is 10. So the class width is 10. So that's the answer for the first question. We need to find class width, and that is 10 for us. Now sometimes you'll also find that when we have intervals, if we are given the data, we at times make intervals like 20.5 to 30.5, just to be very precise, right? This interval could be written as, we can write here, 20.5 to 30.5. So if you have to create your own data, frequency table rather, you consider marks above 20.5 and 21, less than 30.5 within 30 correct and if you take this difference you'll get 10 so that's another way of writing the same interval anyway so that's an additional information next question here is to find the modal class right so let's use another ink for modal class modal class mode means most frequent right so we want class with most frequent unt okay so just look for highest number in the frequency in our case the highest number happens to be 30 right so that is most frequent correct so the class in which that 30 is is 51 to 60 correct and therefore we can write this model class as fifty one to sixty is it okay so that is what it is the mode class is fifty one to sixty correct now next one here is 
approximate mean and median. Now since we don't have details of the marks, we just know in a group there are four, but we don't know exact numbers. So always mean and median will be approximate values. Steps to create mean are find the mid value of marks. So let's first find mid value of marks. Let's call it as X. Okay. So add them, divide by 2. What do you get? You get 25.5 is the mid value here. 35.5 for the next one. 45.5. And then we have 55.5, 65.5, and 75.5. Then create a column by multiplying this mid value with the frequency, correct? So let me write this as uh, x times frequency f. Is it okay? This is frequency. I mean, let me write here frequency. So let's do this calculation. We have 25.5 times 4 equals to 102. Then we have 35.5 times 11, 390.5, 45.5 times 18, 819, 55.5 times 30, 1665, and then we have 60, I'm sorry, 65.5 times 27, 1768.5. And then we have 75.5 times 10, 755. Now find the sum of these, sum of product of mid value and the frequency let's add them all okay so we have 102 plus 390.5 plus 819 plus 1665 plus 1768.5 plus 755 equals to so we get 5500 Good number, round number, right? 5,500. Now, what is the mean? So, mean for us will be 5,500. Mean value will be sigma of this product of average value times frequency divided by sum of frequencies, which is 5,500 divided by 100, which is 55. Is it okay? It's good practice to write in one decimal place. So I prefer to write zero. Normally you're not going to get such values, right? These numbers are uh, not be like even numbers as I have used. Okay, so we've done the mean. Now let's look into median. Now this is mainly main reason of doing this. Now we look into median. Now median should be right in the center. Is it okay? So median, you can always calculate where will it lie. So if I do half of my frequency sum, which is 100 divided by 2, we get the number 50, right? So median is where the number 50 comes in our cumulative frequency. So what you have to do is this 50, we have to check in cumulative frequency. Now here you see, Number of students are 33 up to the group 41 to 50, right? So 50th student is going to be in the next interval. So somewhere in 51 to 60 will be the 50th student corresponding to the median. Do you understand? Now, at this stage, we can approximately find the median as a value based on 
uniform distribution. So we are, we are making an assumption here and that is uniform distribution. That is to say, within this we have 30 students, their marks are uniformly distributed. That's the whole idea. Do you get the idea, right? Their marks are uniformly distributed. Correct? So, let's see. 50th students, when we say 50th student, then we know 33 are already before that, right? So, so what is 50 minus 33? So let's do what is 50 minus 33 50 minus 33 is 17 so what we have here is within this group we are looking for 17th student 17th student in this interval 51 to 60 do you get do you get the idea 17th student in this interval how many students are there? There are 30 students, right? So what we do is, we divide 17 by 30. Since 30 is the total number of students, right? So what we get here is, divide 17 by 30, 17 divided by 30, that gives me 0 0.566, something like this, right? So that gives us 0 0.66 within this interval. And what is the class? width is times 10 so we multiply this by by 10 which is I should say C times the class width times 10 is it okay because right in the center and what do we get here we get a value which is 5.66 is it okay 5.66 so the median lies 5.66 more than 50 do you see that so the median lies after 50, it is not 51, not 52, somewhere in the middle. How much away? 5.66 away. So the median is 50 plus 5.66, which is 55.66. Do you see that? That is how you can find the median without using a formula. Now, here is the formula which you can use and calculate the answer. Let me write down the formula. For median, the formula is whatever is the lower bound is more than 50. Do you see that? It is more than this 50. We call this as the lower bound L plus the average of this number of students which is sigma f over 2 take away that limit right which we say is a cumulative frequency l divided by the frequency of the interval fm times the class interval c do you see that so that is the formula you could use this formula let's substitute the values C we know is, C is known to us as 10, right? Okay. Uh, let's start with from here itself. To find this lower limit, we actually find the sigma f by 2. Where will the median lie? Which we found was 50, right? So that is the interest. That is the group. It lies in this group. So, L is... 50 for us so we can write L 50 plus sigma f by 2 sigma is 100 right let me write here 100 divided by 2 minus f of L is the cumulative frequency before this group which is 33 divided by in our class the frequency was 30 times class interval of 10 let's calculate this value so the value is 100 divided by 2, less 2, 100 divided by 2, which is 50, take away 33, minus 33, divide this by 30, divide by 30, multiply by 10, times 10, 
equals to then add 50 to it plus 50 equals to we get 55.66 do you see that so we get the same result using the formula and using the logic do you get my point but anyway this is always approximate we have done based on the assumption that the data is uniformly distributed so 50th person was the median right now 50th is 17 more than 33 this 17th person will be slightly right of the midway because 5.6 is slightly more than half and that gives us the result approximately 56 do you get an idea so that is how you can find the median i'm anil kumar and i hope you understand and appreciate and with this example you also see how using a formula and not using the formula can both give you fairly good result Amadil Kumar, if you like, you can always place your like. Feel free to ask questions as you've been doing. Share and subscribe to my videos. And thanks a lot for the end to which you have shown. Thank you and all the best.